What's up guys, Blademaster here, gonna be bringing you Unibrand Beta round 2 game 3 between uh, Killer Zombie and Silverwind. Now, we saw two really, uh, well the second game wasn't all that close, but the first game was very close. But very interesting matches, both of them, uh, between these two players. Now, uh, for game 3, Killer Zombie returns as the top of the bracket uh, player, and he gets the first faction and map choice. He decided to pick Carthage on Nemerusena. Carthage on Nemerusena is kind of a strange pick because Carthage doesn't have many fa many units that really benefit from a good charge bonus or something like that. Uh, but you know, all in all, it's a pretty decent faction, pretty decent pick. Uh, he would have definitely benefited from having Rome as his third faction, but of course he doesn't. Um, uh, uh, Silverman, on the other hand, decides to go super crazy with Parthia as his final uh, faction. So if he, if he does lose this, uh, then he's out of the tournament. If he does win this, he still has access to that deadly faction in Rome. So, uh, with uh, Carthage, so, uh, Killer Zombie does not have access to very smartly picked, uh, does not have access to Scutari Cav and Carthaginian Cav. And that makes a world of difference for Parthia's chances because he, they won't have any cavalry chasing after their shock cavalry. But that depends on if, if Parthia has Shock Cavalry and Killer Zombie has banned Eastern Cataphracts and Camel Cataphracts for Parthia. So that means we see a Parthian army that is filled to the brim with Melee Cav and, uh, <laughs> versus a Carthaginian army that is filled to the brim with Shock Cav. <laughs> Unit ban beta, everybody. We have four Noble Cav uh, brought by Carthage because they were like, we need as much uh, you know mobility as possible against uh, Parthia. We have a total of six... Uh, Median Cav, I think. Yeah, six, one, two, three, four, five Median Cav for Parthia. And a Royal Cataphract General. We also have an Indian War Elephant brought by Parthia. A total of three mercenary Scythian Horse Archers who have very easily moved into the rear of this Carthaginian army. We also have three Eastern Slingers up in front. A uh, couple uh, of, a total of four Eastern Slingers shortly, sorry. And uh, one, two Persian Hoplites, three Persian Hoplites, one uh, mercenary Hoplite. And that's it. I I thought I saw in the unit screen that there were more. There was I thought there was two, per, uh, two regular hopper days. Uh, I don't know. Let's we'll take a look at that uh, in a second. So we also have uh, two Libyan peltas, three Libyan peltas, a couple of late Libyan hopper days. As we said, total of four noble cavalry, including a very uh, weak noble cavalry general. We have a total of two mercenary Iberian swordsmen. One, two, three, four, five, six Libyan infantry, and a couple of late Libyan hoplites. Now, all in all, I think there's a pretty decent, uh, decent army brought by uh, Killer Zombie. Uh, he probably wouldn't have needed to bring the uh, the uh, the Carthaginian hoplites because while they might be, while they might sound like a good counter to a Parthian army, again, Parthia doesn't have access to those really powerful eastern cataphracts that makes them so deadly so the the libyan infantry he kind of diversifies his risk because he uh the Par parthians might just bring a main line of parthian swordsmen so by bringing libyan infantry he can defeat them and the, he, they wouldn't actually do too bad against the uh against the uh, noble blood cab or the median cab uh, that parthia can bring so, Mercy Abyssinian Swordsmen are another unit that I predict will do very well. The Libyan, uh, inf the Libyan Paltus would be crucial for uh, Carthage's success in this army, or sorry, against this army. So yeah, we can see the second uh, Mercy Hoplite. We can also see a fifth Eastern Slinger, and yeah, that's about it. So so far, the Mercy uh, Scythian Horse Archers haven't done anything. Uh, Libyan Paltus pulling back. Late Libyan Hoplite is going to be very crucial in, in corralling away these mercenary Sarmatian horse archers. But they are positioned in very decent uh, angles. They wouldn't like to charge into the Libyan Paltus. And that's why Libyan Paltus is so nice. Because they have medium mass on top of very decent 65 armor and 50 health. So they really would not uh, mind getting charged at by a pretty shit uh, cavalry unit like the mercenary Sarmatians. He needs to be very patient, uh, Silverwind. Judging by the timer, we can probably predict in whose favor this is going to go in but uh, let's not make any rash judgments uh, these median cab need to be popped in diamond formation and then charge into the noble into the noble cab and then they would win out very easily if he can manage to kill off the noble cab like that that that, that would be very decent but they're going to charge in straight Ooh, ouch the median cab are not going to like that 
but Persian, he, he pulled away with them very smartly so that he had his Persian Hoplites in much closer support. But the median cap are going to take a lot of damage there. And Eastern Slinger is going to fire into the uh, into the uh, into that blob. Now the Royal Cataract is probably going to do a lot of damage, but they're also going to take a lot of damage against these. Uh, oh wow, they lost three units against those Libyan infantry. But Pop Trample, they need to be they need to pull through, and then oh, but what awaits them? Libyan Peltas. Uh, late Libyan Hoplites, no, don't charge your elephants into these guys. That's the worst unit that you can charge into. Oh, but they, they remove half the phalanx at the last second. So that means... Oh, no, but they're taking damage and they're already running amok. Oh, no. What did I say? The Mercenary Iberian Swordsmen are going to play a huge role. Mercenary Iberian Swordsmen with their Soliferium Javelins uh, hitting the... Oh, my God. This is a shit show. The Eastern Slingers also firing so much damage taken by these Mercenary Indian War Elephants. The Royal Cataphracts already down to half strength simply due to the Precursor Javelins by those Libyan Infantry. And uh, the Median Cav have routed, have disappeared under these noble cavalry. They needed to have been popped into um, uh, diamond formation. And still, the friendly fire is real from Silverwind. Down to 8 units. Solar Farms about to be uh, entered into the elephant's behinds. Don't know. Median Cav finally charged into the mercenary Iberian swordsmen and holding them down. But this is too little, too late. Um... The Libyan infantry are very nicely punched up against a really shitty Persian Hoplite unit. Mercy Scythians, again, too little too late. You needed to be very, very patient with this army. This is not even a good Parthian skirmish build because the Parthian skirmish build needs Eastern Cataphracts to survive. This build still could have won, but he needed to be much, much more patient with this uh, with this army if he wanted to make it work. Right now, the, the Mercy Hoplites are not going to have a good time against these Libyan infantry. Still, he has pockets of space that he can use to destroy with his uh, Royal Cataphract General. The Noble Cavalry are basically dead now. There is a full strength uh, Noble Cavalry, but that's going to get charged at by a Royal Cataphract that's still tired. He hasn't popped second win. Uh, Silver win, I mean. So, the... Uh, I need to take... Sorry, I need to take a screenshot. Uh, can I take a screenshot this way? Uh, yes, I can. Let's put this in slow motion. And then let's take that screenshot. So the uh, Royal Cataphract is going to do very well against the Noble Cav there. Going to completely destroy. Now he's popping second win. A bit late, but all in all, pretty decent. Again, going to take a lot of friendly fire casualties. And wow, that javelin volley from those Libyan infantry. About to make themselves pay off just through that javelin volley. So Mercy Indian War Elephants down to 8 units, uh, they've got back from, uh, you know, running amok. Going to charge through this Noble Cav, but they've been held down. And again, the Libyan Pelt is going to make them make their presence felt uh, over here. Going to toss some very crucial Javelin Volleys. <laughs> wow. Just slaughtered all those Elephants there. And yeah, this, this game is basically over. The Royal Cataphract managed to get a single XP Chevron, but not made themselves pay off at all. And that's the problem if you bring Parthia. Unlike Armenia, you can completely cripple Parthia by by pulling out, by banning. Just even if you had one ban choice, Parthia is dead because Parthia wouldn't have access to Eastern uh, Cataphracts, and that's basically all there is. I would have liked to have seen a lot more Parthian swordsmen to, uh, being brought by Parthia, and at, at the very least, noble blood cav and not median cav. Noble blood cav are so much better than median cav, and a lot more patience should have been shown by Parthia. If they want, if uh, Silverwin wanted to win this game, so uh, Killer Zombie manages to win the third game pretty convincingly. Still one minute left, uh, but look at the amount of units left for uh, for Killer Zombie. Libyan Peltas being pulled away, and uh, Mercy Iberian Swordsman firing into the hoplons of uh, hoplon shield of the uh, of the Mercy uh, of the Mercy Hoplites. Whoa, that was pretty cool. He just like threw away the shield of that Mercy Iberian Swordsman. Yeah, we keep the eye candy real in Blade Master's channel. You know, we're all about that fluff. Zero substance. <laughs> uh, so 43 kills with these Eastern Slingers, they've actually managed to do pretty decently. But I think the friendly fire was so real on uh, Silverwind's part in this game. So yeah, last 15 seconds. Let's go ahead and fast forward. Close victory to Carthage and Killer Zombie manages to win this 
this game uh, pretty convincingly and he moves on to uh, round three the quarterfinals of unit band beta so he doesn't have access to Rome though which is an interesting conundrum so it'll be interesting to see how far he places in this tournament so well played to killer zombie uh, and better luck next time to Silverwind hope you guys enjoyed the set of three matches I know I did uh, and stay tuned for more peace